The Mohawk Valley Center for the Arts in Little Falls presents Local Arts. Ted Stalick's love of nature was shared with his students during his fulfilling career as a teacher. As an artist, his fascination with science and the natural world is translated into art. Look through the iron bars and the dusty railroad track. As a science teacher, I would ask my students to draw whatever we were studying. When you draw something, you have to organize the thoughts in your brain. You have to look at it and, and how tall it is and how wide it is, what parts go what, how many sides does it have, and that kind of thing. And uh, one thing led to another. I took a scientific illustration class first and then different uh, art classes, painting, drawing, sculptures. And, mm -hmm. And one thing just leads to another, it's like a snowball kind of thing. Yep. I was lucky enough, we, we live in an area like uh, Mohawk uh, Valley Center of the Arts is here. We have uh, Munson Williams and there's an outstanding instructor at, at um, Munson Williams, Jim McDermott, who got me into the, the heavy metal sculpture stone. And one of my first sculpture classes was with him and uh, you just can't help but get you know, excited about it and want to do more and more. Anything that has to do with nature. I like flowers. I like uh, critters that crawl and swim and wiggle. Uh, I've done all kinds of uh, bugs that are larger than life. Uh, uh, I do fish. I like fish that are larger than life in real life, so it's a natural piece just to go in and go with that. So anything that has to do with nature. I live on the West Canada Creek, so uh, things come into my yard sometimes. Uh, I teach fly fishing classes, and there's an old adage that uh, it's kind of a poem. Uh, when from the north, fishermen don't go forth. When from the east, fishing's the least. When from the south, baits in their mouth. And when from the west, fishing's the best. So the fishing, uh, when the wind blows in the west, if you look at your weather vane, it tells you whether you should be fishing or not. And the fish sculpture is actually a weather vane. The fish spins, so when he faces west, I should just pick up my rod and go. Uh, the sunflowers that you have the birds on it, every time the birds are on it, it becomes a different sculpture. When they take off the birds, the sunflowers vibrate back and forth. So most of my things scream to be moved or touched or they do it on their own. Uh, the one that you were talking about earlier is a copy of uh, Starry Night by Van Gogh. And it's meant to touch with your eyes closed. So if you're blind, you can see the stars. You can feel the moon's bigness in the sky, mass in the sky. Uh, you get an idea of what the painting was like even though you could never have seen it. And sculptures need to be touched and need to be enjoyed in a lot of ways. I like to make people smile when they look at my sculptures. I like to uh, make more sculptures and my yard is getting crowded. So selling my sculptures and sharing them with other people just has, has to happen. You can't just keep it in your backyard. So some pieces I've had for a few years, some pieces uh, I make them in two minutes or two months and they're gone and it's like a child. When the child leaves home, you're sad. I mean, you're, you're happy because they've gone and done something new. But I've got pieces that I've sold that I really wish I had never sold them. They're just too special, but you stole them anyway. Ted Stalick's work, along with fellow regional art winner Pamela Minotti, is on display through February 9th at the Mohawk Valley Center for the Arts in Little Falls.